Hi, welcome to this video on minor key signatures and natural minor scales. At this point, if you have not watched the video on major scales and make major key signatures, I suggest that you click on the following links and watch those videos before you begin this topic. Okay, so what is a minor scale? Well, a minor scale is a, is a collection of notes that follows a certain pattern. We use minor key signatures as a short form to avoid writing out accidentals to get this pattern of notes. So let's listen to what a minor scale sounds like. You can hear that it has a sad sound which we've traditionally associated it with. Alright, now let's look at our list of major and minor keys. We have all the major keys down the left with all the flats and sharps with C major in the middle with none. On the right hand side we have all our minor keys listed off. Now C flat major and A flat minor both have seven flats. We call these relative keys. C flat major is the relative major of A flat minor and A flat minor is the relative minor <coughs> of C flat major as they both have seven flats. G flat major would be paired with E flat minor, D flat with B flat minor, and so forth and so on going down the list. Now let's take a look at an example. As you can see on the right here, we have A major and F sharp minor. Both of those have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. They are the same key signatures, although one is a major key signature and one is a minor, so they are relatives. Now, I want to direct your attention to these three faded out at the bottom here, G-sharp minor, D-sharp minor, and A-sharp minor. The reason I've faded them out is that, in my experience, composers don't tend to write in these keys. Now, this is because that if they wish to use those notes, they tend to use the enharmonic equivalents. So, and they tend to write in A-flat, E-flat, and B-flat minor. So, instead of writing in G-sharp minor, they write in A-flat minor. As you can see, it's the same note. Instead of writing in G sharp minor or D sharp minor, they write in E flat minor. And instead of writing in A sharp minor, they tend to write in B flat minor. So I've just faded those out also because they don't fit the pattern of how I'm going to teach minor key signatures. Okay, so having talked about this, let's look at how to figure out relative major and minors. Now let's go the let's go from to figure out the relative minor. So if we want to figure out the relative minor, we take the major key and we go down three semitones and two note names. So if we want the relative minor of A major, we start on A and we go down three semitones. And the two note names is important. And we're going to end up on F sharp minor now, not G flat, right? Because of the two note names. So we end up with F sharp. So F sharp minor is the relative minor of A major. Now they would both have the three sharps because we know that A major has three sharps and they both have the same three sharps. So let's try another example. Let's try C major. So if we want to find out the relative minor we go down three semitones and two note names and we'd end up on an A which means that it would be A minor. And now since C major has no sharps or flats that means A minor would have no sharps and flats. All right, let's try the other direction for a second. So if we want to figure out the relative major, we would go the other direction. So that's going up three semitones and two note names from the minor. So if we're going to start on F sharp minor and we're going to go up three semitones and note names, we're going to end up back on A major. So as you can see there from the other example, it's just going in the other direction. So let's try from D minor. If we're going to go from D minor and we're going to go up three semitones and two note names, we're going to end up on F major. So both those two both those two keys are relatives and they both have the same key signature. All right. So now if you wanted to figure out the key signature for C minor, you would have to figure out what the relative major is. So using the relative major of C minor, you would go up three semitones and two note names from C minor. So going up from C up three we are going to end up on an E flat. Now it's an E flat, not a D sharp again because of the two note names. So we know E flat major is the relative major and E flat major has three flats. 
you would have you'll have to know your major key signatures in order to figure out your minors so that's why it's important to watch that video first so we can write in our three flats and now we have the key signature for C minor let's try another example let's try E minor so we start on an E and we're gonna go up three semitones and two note names and we're gonna end up on G which means that the relative major of E minor is G major. Now using our major key, signature, major key signatures, we know G major has one sharp. So if we write in that one sharp, we now have the key signature for E minor. Okay, but what happens if you're given the key signature and you're asked to figure out the name of the minor key? Well, that's when you have to go in the other direction using the relative minors. So if you are given this key signature with six flats, you first figure out the major key signature and then use that to get the minor. So in order to do that, we're going to go down three semitones and two note names. So this would be G flat major if we were to figure out the major key with six flats. So starting on a G flat, if we count down three semitones and two note names, we are going to end up on an E flat. So that's how we can figure out what key signature, what minor key we're in. So we can say that we are in E flat minor in this case. So let's try another one. Using the major, major key signature, we could figure out that we are in D major. Now if you're asked what minor key this would be, you have to go in the other direction. So going down three semitones and two note names from a D, you would end up with a B. So you could say you are in B minor. So it's really just remembering which direction you have to go to figure it out. All right, so now that we know key signatures, let's look at natural minor scales. So the first step to writing a, a natural minor scale is to write out the notes. Now we're going to write out the ascending and descending notes starting on the note in the key's name. Since we're going to use a key signature, we don't have to worry about writing the accidentals as we go. So we can start on B and write in all the notes going up the musical alphabet to B and then once we hit B we can turn around and write all the notes back down until we get to B. So this is the first step is just writing out all the notes. Now the next one is to use the relative major to figure out the key signature. All right, so we're going to use the relative major to figure out the key signature. So as you can see, if we go on B flat, and we're going to go up three semitones and two note names, we're going to end up on a D flat. That means the relative major of B flat minor is D flat major. Using our major key signatures, we can know that D flat major has five flats. So we can write those in B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Once we've got those written in, we don't have to do anything. That is our B flat natural minor scale. Just means it's as written, you have the notes and the key signature, and you're done. All right, let's try one more example of a natural minor scale. So G natural minor scale. Again, we're going to write in all the notes ascending and descending starting and stopping on the note in the in the key's name so that would be starting in G writing up to G now if we wanted to write the key signature first we have to use the relative major so starting on G we go up three semitones and two note names to get to B flat so we figure out B flat major has two flats we write in a B flat and an E flat we have a key signature and then it's just a matter of writing in all the notes as we go. So starting on G, we write up all the notes in the musical alphabet, every line in space until we get to G. We turn around and we come back down again. Remembering that we don't have to make any changes to natural minor scales, we just write them simply like this. So this is G natural minor scale, and this completes our video on minor key signatures and natural minor scales.